Look, I know I'm not a big part of New York Jets fan YouTube or whatever, but I don't care. I got to get this off. I got to rant. Bro, I'm done with this team. I'm done with this team, man. I'm 30 years old. I've been a New York Jets fan for 25, 26 years, something like that. This has been nothing but a depressing life, sports life, my entire life, bro. Like, it's so frustrating. Like, with this team, everything, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. I know people say that about the Cowboys, but the New York Jets, bro, the amount of stupid plays that we make, the amount of dumb calls we make, the amount of dumb decisions from the players, from the coaches, nothing ever makes sense. Even when things are supposed to be different, it's always same old Jets. Bro, this was the most excited I've been coming into a season well, since last year when we first got Aaron Rodgers, and we all know how that ended. Monday Night Football, first game of the season, four plays, out for the rest of the year, torn Achilles. So this year, oh, I'm really excited. We got Hassan Reddick. We got Hassan Reddick, who just played his first game and didn't do dick out there. Um, we got Devontae Adams. For what? I like Devontae Adams, but at this point, bro, we got we won two games so far this season. He's been there two weeks. We lost two games. For what? Fire Coach Salah, who I was actually a fan of, even though I don't think he was fit to be the Jets head coach. But, bro, it, this was the most excited I've been. We got Gary Wilson. We got Brees Hall. Elijah Vera Tucker's back healthy. We got Quentin Williams. Quincy Williams was all pro last year. Of course, Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed in the contract year, I believe. Like, we, bro, we we were Super Bowl contenders, bro. Super Bowl contenders. I, coming into this season, people were saying, and I was one of them, I thought we was going to win a division. I was like, the Bills lost a bunch of players. The Bills coming into the season was already injured. This man, Tua, I never trusted the Dolphins anyway. This man, Tua, died pretty much multiple times. And I think the Dolphins just beat the Cardinals. I think I've been watching this damn Jets game, but I think the Dolphins beat the uh, the Cardinals. This man died, was gone for four or five weeks, came back, got a dub. Oh, no, Arizona just, wait. Yeah, Arizona just beat them 28-27. Still, bro, the Jets, dog, I've been a fan my entire, for the most part, my entire life. The best quarterbacks that I've had in my life is a washed Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre for like six, seven weeks, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Chad Pennington. Those are the best quarterbacks that I've ever had in my life, right? <laughs> and of course, Chad Pennington, if you're old enough, you know, he kept getting injured. And then as soon as he leaves us, he goes to Miami. They start making the playoffs. I believe he won comeback player of the year. Everything with the Jets, bro, just sucks. I hate that I'm a Jets fan. This team should be removed from the NFL. I'm dead serious. They should just fire the entire coaching staff. Let's just go into the rest of the season with no coaching staff, no trainers, no nothing. Just let the players do whatever. And then once we hit the offseason, get rid of everybody. Send all these niggas up to the Canadian Football League. Bro, like, send these, send these dudes to the XFL, Aaron Rodgers, pack it up. You got to retire. Bro, this man, Aaron Rodgers, and I love Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers my entire life. Aaron Rodgers has been one of my favorite quarterbacks. What is he doing? What is he doing? This man gets to the line of scrimmage every single play, and we got to take the clock down all the way to zero. We burn three timeouts in the first quarter. We burned three timeouts in the first quarter. I don't think I've ever seen that a day in my life. And then you got this bum, Greg Zerline, Meg Legatron, whatever you want to call him. This man was automatic last year, if my memory is correct. And this year, he just forgot how to kick. Like, bro, you got one job. You don't got to know no trick plays. You don't got to read coverage. All you got to do is make a field goal. This man, I knew the game was over when we scored. When we uh we uh we were down, I think fourteen to uh, seven, I think, or we were tied seven to seven or something. We scored a touchdown. We're excited. You know what I'm saying? And we missed the extra point. From the moment we missed that kick, I was like, this game is over. I was like, either they're gonna win by one, or this just gonna come back to haunt us. And then later, 
We drive back downfield. And we missed the extra. I mean, we missed the field goal. And it's just like, bro, this team. And you got Michael Clemens, who I'm a fan of. I like Michael Clemens. He seems like a cool dude. I would love to see him just turn into acting and be like a, a tough background character type of guy. This man makes the dumbest penalties, bro. Roughing the passer. For like, <sighs> this is so stupid, bro. Like, I don't get why. I don't get why I'm a Jets fan. Like it's I don't get why I'm a Jets fan. I'm I'm not watching another Jets football game the rest of this season. Unless we're primetime and it's nothing and it's nothing on TV. Like I think we played the Texans Thursday night, I think. I think I saw a commercial for that. Bro, I'm not watching the Jets anymore, bro. This is so frustrating. I like I said, I'm 30. We have not made the playoffs since I was a I was a sophomore in high school. What is that, like 14, 15 years ago? I think we got the longest playoff drought in sports. Bro, I'm over this, dog. I was talking so much trash to my coworkers. I was like, I remember a few months ago, I was like, I told my boss, I'm going to go ahead and take the, the second weekend of February off because I'm going to go down to the Super Bowl. Bro, we lost, we got, we won two games. Two games. Super Bowl contenders. I was on FanDuel at the beginning of the season hammering Jets division winners. For what? Just donating money to FanDuel. This is just so stupid, bro. I've never seen such a dysfunctional organization. And, like, bro, like, I, I was one of those people. I was blaming Nathaniel Hackett. We just suck, bro. From Aaron Rodgers, and I love A-Rod. I'm not going to discredit anything he's done in his career. He's still first battle Hall of Famer, blah, blah, blah. Aaron Rodgers is washed. Our old line can't block for, for I don't try not to curse. We can't block for crap. Our defense, bro, we supposed to have one of the best defenses in the league. Bro, I could go out there right now. I, I could get a little 25. You know what I'm saying? Bro, this is so stupid, bro. I don't know why I put myself through this. I was, I was going to just chill. Before I go to work later today, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm watch this Jets game. There's no way we're gonna lose to New England. <laughs> bro, this is so stupid. I be talking to my friends, bro. My friends be pissing me off. Cause they be trying to talk to me about how bad their organizations are. Like one of my friends is a uh, is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Bro, these people, these dudes, they make the playoffs every year. And you you talk to some of these Steelers fans, they act like they the worst team ever. My boy, a Carolina fan. They suck right now. But I'm like, bro, in your lifetime, you've seen two, two Super Bowl appearances and a league MVP. Huh? What? Bro, we were Super Bowl contenders this year. And I think we, we right now, we would have a top five draft pick. I'm done, bro. I'm done. And I feel like I saw something that the, the, the head coach that I would want next season is the Lions OC, Ben Johnson. I feel like I saw, I don't know if it was a fake report, but I think I saw he wants to be the coach in Dallas or something like that. It's a lot more that I want to say, but I'm trying to keep this PG because I'm trying not to curse so much on the internet anymore. But man, I'm just, I'm just over it, dog. I'm just, I'm so over it. This is so embarrassing. People know that I'm a diehard Jets fan. This is just so embarrassing. Like, I don't know why I subject myself to this mediocre mediocrity for my entire life. And I'm done. I bought this, I bought this, I think leading into last year, I think. I bought this hoodie because I was like, oh, we got A-Rod, we back. But I remember a few weeks ago we beat New England on Thursday night. I was on NFL.com. I was ready to buy Aaron Rodgers jersey. I was ready to buy. Uh, 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 shot glasses and all. I was about to buy all the Jets merch. Come on, bro. This is. I don't even know what to say. All right, I just needed to. I just needed to talk to somebody real quick. All right, whatever.